Hey guys, welcome back to the Pretty Life Girls channel. We're so excited that you're here. Today, we're going to be making beaded daisy bracelets. My name is Liz and I am one of the Pretty Life Girls. And these daisy bracelets are so on trend and adorable. The 90s are back, they're a perfect way to accessorize. You can layer them, you can make them in whatever color you like and it is so much fun. Before we get started though, make sure that you are subscribed to the Pretty Life Girls channel and be sure to leave us a comment letting us know what projects you'd like us to make next. We love crafting, we post a video every week so we'd love to hear from you. Let's get started. Okay, so all you need for this tutorial is some beads. These are the little seed beads. Um, I'm not exactly sure what hole size this is but just make sure that you're holes and your strings are compatible. With these, you're going to be lacing through some of the holes twice. So a bigger hole is gonna make your life a lot easier or you can use a tiny little needle if you need to do that. These are the white ones I'm gonna use for the outsides of my flowers. This is just a stretchy string. I like mine to have a little bit of stretch so then I don't have to add clasps. I can just tie them in a knot and pull them over my wrist. But if you want to use a string that doesn't have a stretch to it and then add clasps, you can do that too. What I like about using this plastic string is that it doesn't fray. So like I said, part of making the flowers is you're gonna have to go through some of the holes twice. And this is super fine. And since it's plastic, as you can see here, it's not gonna fray as you go through. When something frays like that, it can make it so you can't get it through the holes. So I really, really like this. Or you can even use thread and a tiny needle. The needle will help it so that it doesn't fray. Then I have just some scissors. So to get started, you can choose your color of beads that you're gonna do. So I'm gonna have my outsides be like almost a translucent white bead and then I'll have my centers be yellow. So to start take your yarn or your thread and you're going to start by doing whatever color you're going to be doing using for your outside petal and you're going to put four of those on your string. So one, two, you might be able to hear the thunderstorm. <laughs> blowing so hard outside my window. Okay, three, four. Okay, so like I said, these are the beads that are gonna be your petals. Then you're gonna take whatever bead color you'd like to be your inside of your flower. So I'm gonna use yellow, classic color for that. Put that on right next to the four that you're doing, okay? And I'm gonna slide it down because this is gonna be the other end of my bracelet and I'm actually just gonna trim my string. Okay, and when you're choosing your length of string for this, you're gonna want to add a little bit extra because you're going to be doing looping with your string. So the length of this needs to be a little bit longer so you have extra string to work with on that. So you have four of your petal pieces and your interior piece. What you're going to do here is you're going to take your end, so you're going to have it on one end like this. Take your other end and the last petal piece, you are going to take your string and you're going to feed it right through this hole. And like I said, these are tiny beads with tiny holes. So you pulled it through that fourth piece you are going to now pull your string together and I, I'm gonna kind of slide them down to one end so that these are the first flowers of our set that we're gonna have in our bracelet. Then you're gonna move all the beads to one side and as you can see, that is creating the first half of the flower. Then what you're going to do is take your long string. So this end here is gonna be where we're gonna tie things off. This end here is for working. You are going to take two more of your petal beads and put them on the long piece of string. So 
Jeez. Okay. One. Two. Okay. So it'll look something like this. You're going to take that same long piece of string that you're working through. You're going to feed it through this bead that my thumb is touching. That is going to bring these two beads up and around to create your whole flower. So I'm going to feed this through that bead. There we go. Then I'm going to pull it and that is going to bring those two extra beads you just added on around it and that makes your first daisy. Isn't that so cute? Can you see that? Okay, let's do it one more time. So, after this, I'll put a few colored beads on. So let's do like a baby blue. You can do all of your daisies right up against each other, or you can do a pattern in between with your beads. We'll just make this a baby blue bracelet. So, we'll feed on a few blue beads. Like that, and these will go in between our daisies. And then we'll start our next set of daisies. So I just did four. You can do as many as you want. You can do it, like I said, a pattern, anything you want to do. So after that, I'm going to start again with my next daisy. So that means four of your petal beads. One, two, three, four, then one of your interior colored beads, which is for us yellow. Okay, push those up against your other ones so you can kind of see what you're working with. Then like we did before, the petal bead that is furthest away from the interior bead, you're gonna feed your edge through. So that's this clear one that's up against the blue and I'm going to feed my end through there we go okay and then you're going to scoot everything down so you don't have to work right against your colored beads you can move things around after so we have our little loop that we made we went through that first bead we're gonna pull down our beads you'll start to see as you pull down that you have half a flower. So we're gonna take two more petal beads, feed them right through. One, two, okay. Then when you look at the flower, it's that top bead on the top of the middle bead that we're gonna feed through to round out our petals. So this top bead We will push our string through and pull. And you have two daisies now. Is that so cute? I love it. So you can keep going with this, adding beads in the, in the middle, then making your daisies until you have a whole bracelet. Let's do it one more time. So four baby blue beads, one. And then four petal beads. Your middle colored bead, which is our yellow again. So take your string, put it through your very first petal bead. Feed it right through. Pull. And then you can see, let's see if I have scoot our down, so we're scooting and pulling to arrange it how we want. Then we're going to put two more petal beads on. One, two, okay. And then we're going to lace this back through, this top bead, to round out our flower. one, 
and pull. There you have it. Three little daisies, the start of a bracelet or a necklace, whatever you like to do. So fun to do, so easy. When I make bracelets like this, I love to make them in a stack that I can wear. So I made a bunch of different colors of the floral ones. This one's really fun. I did rainbow colors in between. And then I also did some to go in this stack that don't have any daisies that are just a straight bracelet of the same beads to match so that it's not too chunky when you layer them up. This one's really fun too. This one has pink middles and then colors in between. And to finish them off, all you're gonna do, at least with these kind of bracelets since they are just elastic that I'm gonna put over my wrist, you're going to double knot And then I like to put a dot of glue right on the knot. This is just a Gorilla Glue super glue. You can use any kind of super glue or you can use a jewelry glue. And you just put a dot of the glue right on your knot and then you're gonna wanna let it dry completely and then the knots won't slip. Something else I like to do, you can then you can trim off your edges there as well. If you want to completely trim off your strings, you can do that. Something else that's cute to do is to get a bead that matches your bracelet and put it through like that and then tie off a knot on the end of your bracelet like that. That will hold your bead on, trim, and then do it to the other side too. This is just a fun way to finish them. If you'd like, you can also, like I said, skip this part and just cut the ends down tight to the bracelet so that you can't really see them. But I, I sometimes like to have some finished like this and some finished in that other way. So then you have these two little beads that are cute. So when you put it on, you have your bracelet and then on the back you have like a fun little added detail that goes with it. They're pretty cute. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you had a blast. Be sure to tag us if you made the bracelets and share some pictures with us. You can find us on social media at Pretty Life Girls. You can also find us on our blog, prettylifegirls.com. We'll see you next week. Bye.